Right, so now we're working our way farther down into the foot. And what does the word metatarsalgia mean? Yeah, so algae is pain, <laughs> metatarsal, so you got pain in this area here. So you can have a few different things that can cause that. We'll talk about Morton's neuroma. You can have stress fractures, you can have muscle problems that can cause pain in that area. So basically they can have pain in the middle, middle part of the foot. It happens with running, or they could have pain on a specific portion of the bone, in the metatarsal area. Uh, change in mileage, you get a different pair of shoes. A lot of different things can happen with that. It can cause it. They could have some foot deformities, fallen arches. Morton's toe is where the second toe is longer than the uh, big toe. Sometimes that can stick out a little bit farther. So you can do some imaging studies to differentiate if there's anything going on with the bone, if there's a stress fracture. Now if it's a muscular issue, they're going to have more like a cramping pain. You know, muscle, muscle conditions are going to feel more like it's a cramping, spasming type of thing. And so then you could do like active resisted range of motion or manual muscle testing type of thing to contract the muscle. And then now we're getting into neuro stuff. Where again, this could be the other general category of pain in the middle of the foot, metatarsalgia. Except with this, it's a nerve, nerve condition. So what type of different types of things would the patient complain of in this situation? What do you look for when it's a nerve type of problem? Numbness, tingling, shooting, electrical type pain, something like that. So basically what it is is that there's nerves that go in between the metatarsals and they're getting compressed and irritated. What can happen is that from re repetitive irritation you get some kind of a thickening of the nerve. Okay, so it gets like a little knot or enlargement. Alright. So in this case, what to differentiate between like a you know muscular type of condition, when when you squeeze together like this, what's that going to be more likely to affect? A nerve or a muscle? Nerve, nerve right, because that nerve goes in between there, so we're squeezing it, we're putting pressure on it. So you're looking for a reproduction of symptoms. So, you know, a lot of times people can, can complain that if they're wearing tight shoes, that aggravates them. If they take the shoes off and they're going for it, it's not going to hurt as much. It's usually most commonly between the third and fourth metatarsals, sometimes also the second and third. So you can see here it's between the third and the fourth. So you can also get it there. So it's more or less kind of the middle part of the ball of the foot. So the key thing here, you could have the cramping type pain, but you're going to have the numbness and tingling. And then they're going to have <coughs> some decrease of pain when they take the shoe off. And then that's where if they have that fallen transverse arch, it's going to be more likely to have this type of problem. So they could have point tenderness, where it's not going to be some, if it's a bone problem, like a, you can have what's called a March fracture, it's like a stress fracture of the metatarsal. That would be more likely to have pain on the bone, whereas the neuroma we're talking about in between the bones. And then Morton's test. Let's see if I can Kind of like you're shaking hands with the foot. That's good. Okay. Good. How you doing? Not so good? Right. So you're just squeezing right there. Right. No, it could be either one. It's, it's kind of deep. 
They would describe it more as a deep type of pain. All right, so the computer's jammed up again. But basically, we just got one other condition left, which is uh, deep vein thrombosis or blood clots in the leg. Again, you're going to have immobility, prolonged sitting, long plane ride, extensive time in surgery, especially hip or knee surgery or gynecologist surgery. Uh, also, it's increased with childbirth within the last six months and certain medications. <clears throat> what happens is you get a blood clot in the leg. That's not so much the problem. The problem is that when it breaks loose, it goes up into the heart, then into the lungs. So they'll have leg pain, tenderness in one leg. They can have some swelling, change in the color. And I've got some pictures in there when I get that back up. And what's going to cause more compression or pain in that muscle, plantar flexion or dorsiflexion? Because we're stretching the muscle. Stretching the muscle is going to squeeze it, uh, squeeze the vein. Because you know that one of the things that helps venous blood return is muscle and movement. So the muscle contraction pumps the veins. So you're looking for discoloration. If you see somebody with a big swollen lower leg and they have a history of either a long plane ride or surgery or something like that, immobility, or they've recently been pregnant. That can be a serious thing. So that's like a red flag type of thing where 